Hi, the PoE and the data network is limited to 100 meters, it's about 300 feet. After, after 300 feet, the data will start dropping. So in order to run the cable beyond 300 feet, usually we need to daisy chain the PoE standard at the end of the cable, so we got another 300 feet. But there's long run PoE switch, which can claim it can reach about 1,000 500 feet without daisy chain any extension device. I mean, it's a continue run from the beginning to the end. Is that possible? Now let's go to find out. These two are the long run PoE switch. The only difference is the PoE port. The large one has eight port, and the small one has four port. But not all the ports support long run. Only half of the PoE ports support long run. So let's just test with the small one. Let me get rid of the large one. Before we can run the test, there's a small issue we are facing. You see. We cannot find the Ethernet cable is longer than 1,000 feet. This is the KFIE cable. Now it's just 1,000 feet. But we would like to test the cable beyond 1,000 feet. It's about 1,500. So what is the solution? Uh, I just find this coupler. So use this coupler. We can change this cable with another one. Totally, we got 1,500 feet. OK, now we got another 500. I need to find the both end. OK, this is the one end from the large one. So I connect to the coupler and both sides. Now I got the 1,500 feet, feet. OK, meanwhile, I need to power up this switch. This is the AC power, so just power the switch. And second thing, I'm going to use this shock punch code to link this recorder back to the switch. So you can see the camera from this switch. Right? I'm going to find the uplink port. This is one port. Also, meanwhile, I'm connected to the back end, the network port of the recorder. OK, ah, next thing is just connect one end to the port number one. Port number one, port number two can support run run according to the manual. OK, and we got the other end. So this is the camera. We will just connect to the camera directory. Let's see. It's not working. What's the problem? You see, yes, this switch can send the signal up to 1,500 feet, but for this camera, actually, it's just the regular camera, right? It can only reach about 1, uh, 300, 300 feet. So after that, it's, it's not working. In this case, we need this PoE stat adapter. What the PoE adapter do is just return the signal. So yes, so get, they can talk to each other. OK, I'm going to connect the input port of the adapter. Then I use this short punch code to link the output port to the camera. Once I connect to the camera, I can hear the motor is running. This is the motorized zoom camera. It will take a while before we can see the live me video on the TV. Now, I think the video is still fuzzy because the motorized zoom will zoom in and zoom out to find the best focus. You can see the beautiful thing in this setup is there's nothing else but just the cable between the PoE switch and the adapter. So if you want to bury everything, you just can bury the cable directly. It's the safety way to bury the cable. And according to the manual, this PoE switch actually can reach longer than 1,500 feet, but the speed will downgrade to 10 megabytes per second. Now the speed is 100 megabytes per second. It can handle at least like the 4K, uh, even 8K IP camera. So it looks great, but can we also use this solution to send the data? I mean, just set up another router at the end of the cable? We're going to try to find out in the next video. See you next time.